If you're looking to buy a house in Great Neck, brace yourself for sticker shock. It's unbelievable. I've been doing this many years and the prices are crazy, insane. Realtor Ed and Michelle has homes listed for $2 million and up. Michelle says there's a surge in people looking to buy, but not enough houses available, and that supply and demand is pushing prices through the roof. Most homes are going above asking price. There's a bidding war on almost every house, and it honestly doesn't stay on the market for more than a week or two weeks. One of the main reasons for the limited inventory is the low mortgage rates of the past decade, which have kept many homeowners in place. Very little inventory on the market, so when a house comes on the market, we have multiple buyers who want the same house. The rapid rise in prices has been the trend in communities from Great Neck to Middle Island since the pandemic. According to Douglas Elliman and Miller Samuel, the median home price on Long Island, excluding the East End, soared to $670,000 from April to June, a nearly 12% increase compared to the same period last year. There's about 96% of communities where there are at least 50 sales saw prices move up at least 10% you know, in the past year. So it's not just, you know, one neck of Long Island, it's from Nassau, you know, over to Suffolk. A lot of real estate agents were worried when mortgage rates went up that that could make things too expensive for buyers. But buyers have really withstood mortgage rates going up. Definitely a seller's market. For buyers who've lost multiple bidding wars, Michelle has this advice. Keep looking and keep throwing out bids. And I say it's like the fishermen. You keep throwing the rod in until you catch one. But when you see something, offer your best price and your best terms. For Newsday TV, I'm Virginia Huey.